This time last year, life was quite different for beloved English teacher Barbara Hall. Justin and I would go on like random mini road trips to see my family, his family, just go places. Um, we got married a year in, a year and a half ago, which is beautiful. Super, super happy. And then we got our second dog, Barley, um, two months after we got married. Um, and life was just really great. I'm so, I, I don't know how to like explain it. We were just really happy. It seemed like everything was going great for the happy newlyweds. She came home from work one day, early. She said that she couldn't talk right. And then we, I had to start like talking for her. It was very difficult for her to find words. She couldn't, just a very strong personality shift. It's kind of like I uh, had no idea who she was, what was going on, where she was. The day after I left work, I couldn't talk. Like I had no capability to speak. Like, I could speak, but it was, it was apparently, it was gibberish. Like to me, it just sounded really slow. But to people on the outside, it was gibberish. Like they had no idea what I was talking about. So that was really scary. The Halls visited doctors in Urinfar, and eventually they found out what was happening to Miss Hall. She was diagnosed with anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis. Basically, the, her body thinks that there's a tumor inside of her, and then it's trying to attack the tumor with white blood cells, and those blood cells get confused and then attack her brain. And I've never been scared of like death, you know, um, but that was something that was a huge obstacle with my family and myself and just trying to just stay positive. Staying positive was very, very tough. Doctors say it's best for Ms. Hall to stop working. They don't know a lot about it because less than a couple thousand people in the entire world have it. So again, very lucky. Um, and there's not a lot of research on it, so they just kind of have to take it day by day. Um, there's some like, experimental things they want to try with me. Um, I get um, a chemo infusion every six months. Um, I got it recently, but it's not working how it's supposed to be working, which is why they want me to leave. But stopping work means the Halls have to move back home to Las Vegas, where they can get by on one salary. We have to view everything through a light of if she's going to get sick again, when she's going to get sick again, if we, how far our doctor is, we need to plan because basically her medication is not cheap. So we have to plan for that and organize medical bills, pretty much take care of everything. Just really focus on being prepared. But for a dedicated teacher like Ms. Hall, that has been a tough decision to accept. I, choices have been hard for me. Um, and this is totally going to sound redundant, but I feel like not having a choice has been the, not really a choice, but like the hardest thing for me, honestly. Um, I'm just really sad about how everything has turned out, but uh, trying to be optimistic and something hopefully will come out that's good. We've gone through something that most relationships don't have to go through, or if they do, it's, it's extremely late in life, you know, and we came through it. So that's the most important thing to us is like, now the next 50 years of marriage are easy. Can't, can't, can't get harder, so, so now it's just, it's good. Miss Hall's departure is a huge loss for Eagle Valley when she has had such a profound impact on her students and colleagues. She is so caring about her students and she cares so much that it really like just resonates through the whole classroom and the entire school. Miss Hall really taught me how to like really like write like if I'm gonna write I'm gonna write really good. I know that I strive to do better in my relationships and my feedback and how I deliver instruction because of the efforts and attitudes that she has shared with our department over the years. Like you would walk into her class and even if like you had a million things to do because it was a pretty rigorous course, it was still like this is just a normal classroom and I feel really good here. I just think that the dedication and hard work that she's put in 
uh, is, is something that's monumentally changed the lives of, of not only our staff, but all the students that have come into contact with her. She was one of the first teachers that I had who really believed in my voice and my ideas and giving me the agency to spread that around in whatever ways I found possible. She has had a hugely positive impact on everyone that she touches, her students, her, her colleagues, uh, everyone in her community. So she's been um, a light here and a strong force here. We're lucky to have her. The English department is leading a fundraiser this week to give Ms. Hall the love and support that she has given this community. We are, we are starting a GoFundMe. Uh, we're lifting up Babs or Ms. Hall, um, kind of in the theme of up so that we can send her, send her off um, with high hopes for her future. We just ask that if you would like to send her positive messages of love and support that you ask your English teacher for a balloon. Uh, write her a message and we're going to post them outside of her door and then we hope to see that the whole hallway is filled with balloons. We know not everybody knows the the situation in the background um, but it's worth talking about it, it it's it's empowering to know how things affect a community and how people's lives can change. I've just seen this community rally around other community members before and I just know in my heart that Miss Hall is extremely deserving of whatever we can do. Life is different now for Ms. Hall, but her love for the Eagle Valley community has only grown stronger. I have learned so much while being here. Like, I, I feel like if I hadn't have been here for as long as I have, I wouldn't have grown as much as I did. Um, the community is amazing, so just thank you for always being there for me and offering support. Um, and I'm going to really miss working with everyone so much. And I hope they just all know that even though I'm moving and my health isn't too great, that if they ever need anything that I could possibly help with, I would love to.